Hello and welcome to another Excel at the office. Um, in this video I'm using Excel and I'm sharing with you a template I made. It's to help you manage your personal and or family budget and finances on a monthly basis. Now you can use this for a particular month, so for example as a default it's on January 2022. Uh, you can change that to a different month if you prefer just by typing or you can use it for a, a typical month or even if you wanted to for a whole year if you don't want to use it for a month but um, one thing you can do um, if you prefer you can do things for specific months and do it on an ongoing monthly basis if you want to track your budgets over time so you can uh, create a copy once you're uh, you've done editing this sheet, create a copy of it, move it uh, to the next one along, selecting the create a copy, and click OK. And then you rename it to, say for example, February 2022. And you can do this for however months you, however many months you want. Uh, I'm going to just uh, change the name as well here, just to show you how you would rubbish fail on the spelling front don't excel at the office like me with spelling um, so now you've also got a section for February as well so just to take you through this monthly budget money manager I should have made a catchier title than that but you get what it's about so in the summary section as the name suggests this summarizes the information that you're going to input below so don't touch any of this because this is going to um, present for you and feedback on where you are with your monthly budget based on what you've input so for example it will show you based on your income and expenditure be that through uh, expenses entertainment savings and so on have you actually spent all of your uh, income for the month uh, so for the default figures I've used here, I've, I've entered some figures and this shows I've spent 99% of the imaginary income budget for the month. Here on this side of uh, the summary report I show you what you've got left over after you've um, uh, spent or saved uh, the information and then the uh, spend by category I show and it will become clear later on I broadly theme things according to category so you can see how much of your uh, income and spend is going out again on home or insurance related stuff things around your vehicle whether it's car or van whatever you're using whether it's fuel and so on any loans and credit cards you might have and this is why we work, isn't it, for the fun, so seeing what you can actually spend on uh, fun and entertainment and any other miscellaneous um, spend. So I've categorised for you um, some various ways you can capture the information. So you'll enter your information in the details section headed by this uh, light blue tab. I've, as it, If you want to know how... I've created this, I've used the concatenate formula, so whatever month or value you enter in this uh, here where it says February in grey, that's the concatenate formula where you can concatenate strings of text and information together which is quite handy for automating so that you only have to change that bit and then the blue headings will change for you. But by the by, we're here to manage our money. So the income section, that's where you input your uh, main sources of income, whether it's uh, from a full-time job, self-employment, or any other income sources you might have. I've given some examples um, here, so sales on eBay um, and so on, any supplementary jobs you have. So that'll all add up for you and be added in your total income here using the handy sum formula. It's also quite handy um, to save a bit of money each month if you can um, and I've given several options here of how to categorize your savings so you might have just one savings account and if so just enter zeros for the rest of the um, rows. You might, If you have kids you might be saving for their 
uh, future in a child ISA or something like that, regular saver. I save um, 20 quid a month or so for uh, each of my kids. And so I, uh, if I was putting that information here, I would put 20 pounds because that's all coming out of my income and I want to balance the books at the end of the month so I don't return a deficit um, up the top here. And then finally, obviously, there's loads of different ways that the world wants to take your money. So I mentioned the broad themes. I've preceded each category with um, the name of the theme. You can um, change these if you want. I've given a kind of hopefully a comprehensive overview but for each category you can also uh, I've, I've given a, a a field called other that you can again change this if you want to uh, put say for example pet insurance as part of this if you have a have a pet um, so those other places are where you can categorize things that I haven't uh, given you the fields for but hopefully that's pretty comprehensive and I would say more comprehensive than the stuff that you get with um, the standard office Excel templates. I've used conditional formatting to just generally highlight for you where your biggest and smallest uh, spend items are and again where you see these little uh, blue, uh, sorry red um, triangles in the corner of cells that might give you some extra prompts to think about um, in terms of what you might want to put in that category so ultimately you put the numbers it's all in pounds and pence down the side and I've also given you a kind of miscellaneous section for things that I might not have covered but you want to uh, include the spend on uh, whether that's uh, well you can choose what you want from that uh, vehicle repairs you might only get those occasionally or you might get a big whammy uh, one month and then you can enter that there and then my goodness that will certainly cause a deficit in the funds uh, for the month and then you're st but it's a good way to show that these things adapt as you enter values below so I've just changed that and now my biggest spend category is the or much bigger is the vehicle spend category and as a result, I've spent 135% of my income that month, so I will have to be drawing from savings to make up that deficit. Best part of 800 quid. So that's a bit of an overview of this uh, monthly budget money manager. I hope you find it helpful to uh, get on track with your spending and budgeting for yourself or your family. Um, I've also given some guidance and tips in this guidance section here. Uh, so the purpose of this report and some reminders how you can use it. I welcome any kind of feedback or comments in uh, the comments below. It'd be really handy if you can like and share this video with other people. And I look forward to seeing you next time on excel at the office .com. Thanks for your time.